Hello Space Coast, welcome to the News in 90 Seconds for Thursday, February 24th. I'm Rob Landers and here are some of today's top stories. But first, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a video from Florida Today. Downtown Melbourne Skyline has added Hotel Melby and the Highline Apartment Complex since August 2020, bringing new residents, business travelers and tourists into the surrounding New Haven Avenue Retail District. But that's just the start of a potentially historic downtown construction boom, Melbourne Mayor Paul Alfrey said. In fact, he expects undisclosed developers to build six or seven similar projects within the next few years. Florida Today's Rick Neal has all the details in his story on floridatoday.com. And in another of Rick's reports, a new traffic signal and four pedestrian activated yellow flashing crosswalks are coming to the two third mile stretch of Fifth Avenue throughout downtown Indy Atlantic. A new twist, these Indy Atlantic raised crosswalks will feature yellow in-road lights embedded in the asphalt that will flash when pedestrians activate the signal. Learn more about the crosswalks on floridatoday.com. A grassroots nonprofit in Coco is one step closer to securing the future of the ailing Brevard Museum of History and Natural Science after the Brevard Zoo withdrew a brief interest in the property at Tuesday's Coco City Council meeting. Reporter Eric Rogers has all the details, including why the zoo withdrew its interest in his story in floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.